it's a very simple logistical challenge compared to B2B where Isaiah, it's 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 really interesting this entire uh, B two B conversation to begin with. I feel like not too many businesses or brands focus on B two B. I guess what and, and you have tons of posts. So first of all, before I even get started, I suggest following Isaiah on LinkedIn because he has some amazing posts about the importance of B two B commerce. <laughs> uh, but can you explain to some of our listeners, I guess, where this transition or why this transition is happening from more of this B to C to the B to B transactions and platforms? Yeah, yeah. Well, I think I think first I would say there actually are a lot of B. I just want to clear up. When you're saying there's not a lot of B2B, you mean there's not as much focus on B2B e-commerce or there's just not as many B2B? E-commerce. Yeah, yeah. No, no, there's tons of B2B uh, uh, companies, but I, I feel like they handle it in a very traditional old school way rather for than this sure. e-commerce. For sure, yeah. And I think the reason for that is three or four things. One, it's just, it's harder to do. Like generally, generally, not always. It's a little bit harder to go from um, non-e-commerce to e-commerce and in, in B2B because the transactions are more complicated. Um, so it's, it's you, you know, B2C I think has evolved so quickly because, you know, there's a million Shopify stores. Like you can literally go log in, set up a Shopify store, add some t-shirts and start selling like basic products. And the, and the, 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 the workflow is pretty simple. Like B2C to me is like so simple that when I talk to like our B2C clients, like it's just like, it takes me like five minutes to understand their, their business, you know, in the sense that the, from a logistical standpoint, it's like, mm -hmm. okay, you have maybe a few warehouses, you ship it out to the consumer. <laughs> like you take their money through a payment gateway, you know, you charge shipping or you don't charge shipping. Like it's a very simple logistical challenge compared to B2B where with B2B you're talking about different kinds of pricing levels. You might have different pricing for customer. The quantity and the, the availability is more complex because you might be selling in like large quantities. And then that requires more complicated shipping. Mm -hmm. um, and then you might have more complicated payment terms because someone doesn't want to pay for like a $50,000 order or even a $20,000 order with a credit card. They might expect like net payment terms. So you have like all this additional complexity in B2B and so and then on top of that, most B2B companies don't have very good modern digital talent. <laughs> so their companies historically are, you know, family, like a lot of them are family owned. You know, they have like maybe one IT guy that runs the ERP system, but that's like, yes, he's the IT guy, but he's very like behind the scenes ERP, like, a lot of these ERPs are like just moving to the cloud. So even the concept of like web-based technology is like somewhat new to them. They're not that familiar with like modern front-end development. So like, and then design, like they've never really had to put a lot of effort into like designing a nice user experience or website, or even just like generally their brands are a lot more basic and boring because they've never really had to focus on that um, as much as B2C has. So it's a cultural thing, I think. Um, as long uh, along with the complexity of the actual like operation, so it's, it's like you have to get over this complexity hurdle, and you don't have the talent to do it. So that's why I think it's it's just kind of behind where it, it needs to be. 